Hi, welcome back to Pookie and Buddy, somewhere in the background here, eating something disgusting I don't even want to think about. Um, today I am going to talk to you about Finsta or Finstagram. So I've been doing quite a bit of work recently about social media and its impact on children and young people's mental health. And one of the kind of more recent phenomenon, if you like, that I've come across that lots of people seem to be unaware of is um, Finstagram. So Finstagram is the putting together of the word fake and Instagram to make Finstagram. Um, and it's a second Instagram account that young people have which is where they share the kind of more real life embarrassing funny stuff day to day so with Instagram popper or Rinstagram real plus Instagram uh, young people tend to think really carefully about the image they want to portray to the world um, and they will upload with great care um, they will think really carefully about the angles from which pictures are taken they'll think about the cropping of those pictures they might use tools like Photoshop to um, enhance those pictures once they're created um, and then they will think carefully about the captions that go with the pictures and the tagging that they do so lots and lots of thought goes into to each and every post in order that their Instagram, their real Instagram account, which is open to the public, gets as many likes, as many follows, as many comments as possible um, and portrays them in the way in which they wish to be portrayed. Their Instagram account is a private account, so if you were to click on it, you wouldn't be able to see the content unless you were approved as a follower. Um, and the only people who are likely to be approved as followers are our trusted friends. Um, and here is where the funny stuff, the day-to-day -day stuff, the, the quick stuff kind of goes up. The kind of things that historically young people would be more likely to share via a means like Snapchat, which is a different social media platform where posts disappear relatively quickly afterwards. Now, I think this is a really interesting kind of move forwards um, and I think it has kind of pros and cons and I'd be really interested to hear your thoughts about it too, so leave a comment below with your thoughts. So things that come to mind for me, one is that this is a remarkably savvy thing for young people to be doing. So we historically have had a lot of concern about the fact that everything that goes online is there forever and you know all the kind of ridiculous drunken pictures or the daft you know, and embarrassing things that you might do online or be tagged in are um, there for future employers to see forever. Um, and in this instance, they're not, they're, they're hidden, they're, they're in a private account. So that to me seems quite savvy. On the other hand, it seems to me um, almost worrying um, that a young person cultivates such a kind of perfect image, such an airbrushed, airbrushed image of their life online, that, you know, the idea of being real on that account um, and including the funny and, and embarrassing and day-to-day -day stuff or being kind of tagged in a selfie that hasn't been, you know, beautifully airbrushed or, or what have you, um, that strikes me as sort of slightly concerning and one of those things that might kind of put increased pressure on things like body image and, you um, the kind of compare and despair that we see in young people sometimes. Um, the other thing is just the, the sheer fact of managing two Instagram accounts, so your Finstagram and your Instagram call them um, which just has a kind of you know obviously a time pressure um, and means more time still being spent on social media um, than than might have previously been done because you've now got two accounts to manage um, so yeah there's obviously a time factor in there so lots of different kind of things to think about there um, hopefully it's made you aware of something that you might not have been aware about before if it is something you're aware of and you've got thoughts and feelings on it and things that we maybe need to be um, teaching young people about or the discussions we might be having with them about it, um, pros and cons that you've observed or that have come to mind, yeah, share them in a comment below. Um, and yeah, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, you're welcome to give it a thumbs down, although they make me sad. Um, and yeah, do subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to be alerted when I make new videos. I'm making quite a few at the moment, trying to get the hang of this YouTube thing. Um, yeah, and that's it from me today. Thank you and goodbye.